I wanted to study it rather, this was in 1977, um, be, because of the nature of its course. I was living in the Midwest of America at the time, and the courses that were available in America at that time in the late 70s were four-year courses. They were very expensive, and you didn't um, do much performing for the first few years. And then in the final year you performed. And in their brochures, they seemed to be very um, psychologically, uh, they had it seemed to be a lot of, um, I don't know, almost therapy. And at, at 17, 16, 17, that was not what I wanted. I, I wanted to play, you, you know, and, and at RADA, we were up performing in front of people within six weeks. I understand now the American approach, but for me, I wanted to, I wanted to be acting. I, I adored acting and I wanted to be acting and I, I also was born in England and wanted to return and thought that you know the thing of being in London as well as training I'd be able to go and see and hear all this wonderful theatre which in itself would be a training. Uh, and it was the only school I'd heard of in America in the Midwest so that, that was why I, I auditioned. And uh, I didn't think I'd get in. I, I really did. It seemed a long, long, a long shot. And I was very surprised when I got in. I, I thought it would be full of Olivier's and Gilgoods and kind of these very technically accom accomplished English actors. And actually, the wonderful thing about it at that time, when the grant system was still around, was that it was full of of a wide range of. Um, working class people, people who'd done very little theatre but had come and had a real gift at the audition. And then, uh, and then international actors from Sweden and Australia and New Zealand and Canada. And there were 22 of us and I think almost half were international actors. So it was, um, it, it was, a, it was very different than I imagined it would be. I can only speak from my experience, which is a number of years ago now, that, that, um, uh, under the direction of Hugh Crutwell, there there was um, uh, it was just a very simple creed, which was that you had to be believable. That that if that whatever part you were playing, he, he wanted to believe that if you loved someone or hated them or you were skilled in like an acrobat, or he wanted to believe that you you really were that person and really felt that way. And if he didn't, he said so. He didn't, care. he didn't care how you got there. He, he believed, and I think that's probably still the process of Radha, that there are many different ways to get to Mecca. Um, but, uh, and each actor had to find their own way. So he, he, we, were, we were subjected to many different teachers and directors, and we were instructed to really find our own, make our own um, little pack of, of the techniques and methods that, that uh, assisted us. And that that I, that was very very good. I felt like we we were the um, the most important thing to him. We students, and uh, he would come in and be very critical at times. And he didn't mind if the director got offended. He he was concerned that we were learning how to act in a way that would enable us to deal with m the many different situations we would discover when we left the school. And there was a great practical knowledge of the profession. At the, at the root of everything there. And one didn't feel one was far away. One felt one was right on the edge of jumping into the ocean. And he was giving us all the techniques that he could for us to deal with the different weather we would encounter. Yes, I still draw enormously on my training at RADA. Um, I, 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 had an, I had a number of wonderful teachers there. And, the, and some of them I kept up with after I had um, finished my formal training and would visit them and they would come to the plays and I would talk with them further and I'd go back to them for, for advice about things. Um, no, I always felt very uh, supported uh, by, by the uh, staff there. Um, yes, yes, lot, lot, yeah, da daily, tonight when I play, I, I, I'm sure at some point I will do something, many things that I, would talk, that I was taught at RADA. One tends to come to these these schools very raw, and um, the nice thing about Hugh at the time I was at Radu was that he didn't want you to lose your rawness. He just wanted to enable you to actually bring it in front of an audience um, in ma in many different forms, uh, and so that 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 was good. 
The challenge that comes to my mind is that you are put into a like a vessel with 22 other very uh, extraordinary young people, and then you're in a school with maybe 80 or 100 other young people, and so the and you're in a city like this, and the 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 social challenges of working with so closely and vulnerably with these people. Um, that that was a, that was a big challenge, exciting but challenging, um, and that and that that's perhaps one of the main things you have to learn about in the career is being able to go into companies, meet people on the first day, and maybe later that day be you know having to reveal some very naked emotion or or other characteristic of yourself or fail, um, try things and then be embarrassing. To do you have to you form a group very quickly. The, the different challenges that one encountered, one felt there at RADA that there, people had seen young people in, encountering these challenges a number of times. So they, they were, they, there was a lot of freedom, a lovely lot of freedom. But when one got in, uh, in particular trouble, then one was amazed how attentive, how closely they were watching you. In fact, one of the difficulties leaving RADA was that um, in the profession, people didn't care about you that much actually. You know, at RADA, if your left elbow was tense at some moment in a performance, you know, three or four tutors would come to you and say, you know, that reveals all this other stuff about you that, because they watched you so closely. And when you leave, of course, no, no one's paying that much attention to you. So that was that was that was surprising. Uh, yes, I, I did. I, I mean, I think I, I think to be slightly of what I know of RADA that there could, I think there should be more attention paid to the um, psychological demands of acting for young people um, most most good actors are creatures of appetite um, are visceral people sensual people and uh, and and so I, I think that the, the counseling of the young people at, at Rod is an important aspect of the of the work that goes on there. Quite apart from the training to be an actor, the counselling about how you behave as a person under pressure is is a very important uh, part of the training. Yeah, someone just asked me last night at the stage door about auditioning for Rod, and I I was saying that I I would presume that still they're not really interested in you turning up with a lot of technique. They're, they're interested in you being, you know, uh, uh, having something real um, and in your acting having a forcefulness rather than a form. Um, that that's things they can teach you and, and if they sense a raw chaotic energy in you that's real and, and, uh, and true and I'd use the word indigenous to yourself then that's what they, that's what they will be excited to work with. It's almost like a cook, you know, looking at the vegetables or the fish in the market to make a fantastic meal. He he doesn't want something that's full of chemicals or is not got any taste or might look perfect with no bruises, but as as actually just water and, and chemicals inside. A, a really good chef wants something that's got the earth in it. And um, and the sun on it, and and maybe it's got some bruises, or it, it is a real thing to eat, um, and and in a way that's what as an actor that's you you've got to bring along something real. I I also feel personally there's such a lot of pain in auditions about wanting the job, you know, and then getting turned down. And and so I try I try to sidestep that by by making sure that. You know, if I went and acted out, acted in Jerusalem tonight in order to get another job, I would probably act the part very badly. That's not my objective, acting, and it shouldn't be at the audition either. I'm trying to say something true behind the mask of playing a character. And so I, I tend to say to young people, and I do myself, if I go to an audition, I, I, I will try and make something that is a little piece of theatre that will be intriguing, entertaining, surprising, it, it will be a story in itself, and that I, I will entertain these people who are probably very bored, sitting there all day watching something. And then whether I get the job or not, I can judge myself, well, I did a good bit of acting today. I did, I did a little piece of theatre for some people, and if they want me to come and make their theatre with them or be in their school, great. And if they don't, it doesn't matter, because I've done this. I, I, I've been an actor today. So uh, 
I, I think to focus, the, the people who are listening should focus on something that they is a true experience, that they can share a true experience and pick a piece of text or write a piece of text that will reveal something they know to be true. Radha for me was, was a gateway. It was a gateway, um, you know, from one world into another world. And, uh, and it, there was a rite of passage there for me. Radha also, I think, it is because of the, um, how old it is, there's a tradition, there's a sense of, um, there's a sense of, you know, sure that the money from Shaw's plays at that time was was supporting Radha. That Gilgud would sometimes come in and out of the theater, out of the school. That you you would see, you would see that there was a continuity, um, that what people had learned was being passed on to you, and you were being, you were being offered the opportunity to enter enter a community, uh, of of theater makers. Um, yeah, it, it was it was an invitation into a into a dance, into a party, a dance maybe better than and and so th there was something just gloriously exciting about it. Mm -hmm.